I have these pretty floral napkins that I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 and part of the Spring Shop collection, so you get a percentage off that as well. I'm going to remove the layers of the napkin, which are also called the plies, just so that I have the image napkin left. You want to make sure you remove all the layers, or this will not work as it's supposed to. I found these LED pillar candles right from Dollar Tree. I grabbed three of them. And I'm going to remove the little plastic label. And they are battery operated. And I'm going to wrap the napkin around the candle and just take my nail and just kind of mark where the napkins meet each other. And then I'm going to fold the napkin to that marked area and then cut all the extra napkin off. Now this LED candle from the Dollar Tree does almost have like a waxy film on it, but I had no problems with this project. I'm gonna take my Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear in a Gen Foam brush and I'm gonna apply the One Hour Enamel Clear around the entire candle and then I'm gonna lay it in the center of my napkin, wrapping the napkin around the entire candle. Now you do wanna be careful because if you get it too wet, the napkin will tear. I'm then going to lay that on top of my saran wrap and just rub around. This just helps smooth out the napkin, get any wrinkles or bubbles out. Now I'm going to stick my hand on the one end and hold by the fake candle wick. That was just a place to grab and I'm going to apply another coat of the one hour enamel around the napkin. Now if you get the edges of the napkin wet enough, it will easily tear like it did on the bottom here. The top of the candle has more of a wave to it, it's not a straight edge, so I'm going to allow the napkin to fully dry before I remove any of the excess napkin. So you want to just set that aside just like that. And I decoupaged three of the LED candles. Once they were fully dry, I took a 220 grit sanding block and I just sanded off the excess napkin on the top portion of the candle. You can also do the bottom portion if your napkin did not tear easily. Sometimes it's better to allow everything to dry and then you can go back and sand all the extra off. Now here I'm kind of going in a downward motion. If you sand away from the napkin, it has an increased chance of tearing. I'm going to put the candles aside and I have this riser I got from Target. It came in a two pack for $5 and I have this really pretty floral light. It's a battery operated light and I'm going to hot glue it around the rim of the riser. I believe I got the floral light from Dollar General and I did have to wrap it around two times but it wrapped around perfectly and again I'm holding all that in place with some hot glue. Now I'm just going to take a very small zip tie and zip tie the extra wire together so that we can hide it underneath the riser. I'm going to hot glue the extra lighting down on the bottom. And then I have these Velcro stickers I found at my local dollar store. And I'm going to place those on the bottom of the riser and it adhere it to the battery pack. This will allow you to still be able to get to the batteries when needed. I then went back to the three candles that we decoupaged and I decided to wrap some jute around them. I wrapped it around a couple times. I just think it kind of dressed it up a little bit and it was an easy way to hold them together. And then I'm just going to tie that in a knot. You can add a little bow to these if you want. I cut the extra jute off. And I have these little metal floral embellishments that I found at Michael's. And I decided to glue those onto the side of each candle. And you could dress this up really any way that you want. I think this is a great idea if you're looking for a very inexpensive centerpiece for any special occasion or even just for your home. And I'm using the E6000 to hold the metal embellishments in place. So this is what the candles look like. And I really love this napkin. And there we go. Now we just have this very 
inexpensive centerpiece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.